This video demonstrates the installation of a Zepp Solar Zeus tile array on a curved tile roof. Using your Zeppulator layout for reference, mark and then prepare the locations for roof attachments. Zeus tile can be used with various roof attachment solutions, including tile hooks and standoffs. This video shows the installation of Zeus tile using tile hooks. To install a tile hook, remove the tile and identify the rafter location. Drill pilot holes into the rafter and secure the tile hook to the rafter using lag screws, taking care to follow the appropriate waterproofing measures. Pre-assembly and staging of the other components can take place while the roof attachments are being installed. Assemble sections of spanner bar by inserting the spliced end of one spanner bar into the bottom end of the next. Then install the front row cam feet in each pre-assembled length of spanner bar. Each cam foot should be approximately 1 inch or 25 millimeters from the end. Use the flat tool to rotate the lower portion of the cam foot, called the cam nut, one quarter turn clockwise, securing it in the spanner bar channel. While still on the ground, slide spanner clamps onto the spanner bar and snap cam feet into the spanner bar channel to pre-stage for rooftop installation. After all the roof attachments have been installed, bring the spanner bars onto the roof. Loosely secure the spanner bars by hand tightening the nut and bolt inserted through the spanner clamp and tile hook. The spanner bars on the eastmost and westmost edges of the array should be installed first, setting both an equal distance from the lower edge of the roof. Once the appropriate location for the spanner bar has been determined, tightly secure the nut and bolt on each spanner clamp. Then run a string line between the two spanner bars. Using the cam foot as a guide, align the remaining spanner bar to the string line, secure the spanner clamp in place, and level the upper portion of the cam foot to the string line. After all spanner clamps have been secured, carry the array skirt sections to the roof. Place the first section of array skirt on the key side of the front row cam feet, adjust for correct cantilever, and rotate it into place. You will feel the array skirt snugly rotate onto the keys of the cam feet. To keep the array skirt in place, insert a jam into each front row cam foot. To install the next section of array skirt, place a spacer onto the key side of an interlock and insert the interlock into the array skirt at a slight angle, aligning to the timing marks on the top of the interlock. Using the ZEP tool, rotate the ZEP in the first section of skirt 90 degrees from position 1 to position 3. Rotate the next section of array skirt onto the remaining cam foot while simultaneously turning the second ZEP to position 3. This causes the array skirt to fully seat. Then install a jam as before. The array skirt is now ready to accept the first row of PV modules. To install a module, place the groove along the module's lower edge onto the tongues of the front row cam feet and interlocks. Use the alignment mark on the interlock to position the modules and to maintain consistent spacing. The marks are about half an inch or 12 millimeters apart. Then pivot the modules downward while applying pressure down roof causing the module groove to seat on the tongues of the cam feet and interlocks. Couple the modules along the top edge by installing an interlock at the module seam. Insert the interlock by hand into the groove at a slight angle, making sure to maintain a consistent gap between modules by referencing the alignment marks on the interlock. Use the ZEP tool to turn each ZEP from position 1 to position 3, aligning the numbered timing marks on the ZEP tool with the timing marks on the interlock. Next, install cam feet along the top edge of the modules. The cam feet can be installed by hand or using the flat tool. Secure the cam foot by lowering the cam nut into the channel of the spanner bar and use the flat tool to rotate the cam nut one quarter turn clockwise. If a cam foot is needed in the same location as an interlock, the rocket is removed from the cam foot and a hybrid interlock is threaded onto the cam foot stud in its place. The cam foot and hybrid interlock assembly is then installed in the same manner using the flat tool to provide additional leverage if needed. The inter-array wiring is managed on the uproof edge of the modules. To secure the wiring, load a cable into a cable clip and snap the clip into the groove. Slide the clip along the groove to eliminate cable slack. Two clips per module are recommended for proper wire management. Now that the front row is complete, check the array for level and make any necessary adjustments to compensate for an uneven roof surface. 
Using the ZEP tool with a T30 Torx bit inserted into its end, rotate the threaded stud of the cam foot to raise or lower the array at each cam foot location. Once the installation of the first row is complete, install subsequent rows of modules in the same manner as row 1, dropping in, coupling modules with interlocks, installing cam feet, and securing wiring. The tongues of the interlocks and cam feet allow fine adjustments to be made to the modules in order to optimize placement and to correct for slight variation in frame size, while ensuring that rows are straight and gaps between modules are consistent. This flexibility allows for continual truing of the array as it's built. To create a mounting point for the last row of cam feet, install a bar sleeve over each spanner bar splice in the top row. Tap the excess splice into the spanner bar until the bar sleeve is positioned under the cam foot. Rotate the cam nut clockwise one quarter turn as before. A third party junction box or combiner box can be installed on the perimeter of the array using Zep Solar's universal box bracket. After rotating the box assembly onto the module frame, insert a single jam to lock the assembly into place. Because the interlock is a listed device for establishing ground bond connections between modules in both the east-west and north-south directions, there is no need to install separate grounding hardware within the array. In order to carry a ground path back to earth, install a ground ZEP with a quarter turn of the ZEP tool on the perimeter of the array, where it can receive the PV array equipment grounding conductor. This completes the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS tile array on a curved tile roof. For full instruction on how to install a ZS Tile PV Array, visit the ZEP Solar website at zepsolar.com. There, you will also find the Zepulator online design tool, which will assist you in your layout design, specify attachment point spans and cantilevers, and generate a bill of materials.